Today we'll walk through how to transform data for the Albers USA map style. We'll go over creating the map you see here using the Albers USA map style and native related land data from the US Census. In addition to Mapbox Studio, we'll use QGIS, Tippecanoe, and Dirty Reprojector to transform our data. First, we'll download the data from the US Census. Let's scroll down to national level geodatabases and click on American Indian Areas Related National Geodatabase. You can save the file. Let's hop into QGIS to transform the geodatabase into GeoJSON. Click on Project and New to bring up a new canvas. Now we'll find the data that we just downloaded, drag and drop it into QGIS. This pop-up is asking which of the data we want to bring in. I want to select all of it and then we'll click OK to bring them into QGIS. You can see all the map data here in the canvas and then on the left side you can see all of the layers. You can toggle them on and off to see what is what. Now let's select all the layers, right click, and we'll go to Save As, and we'll change the format to GeoJSON, and now we'll click on the ellipses here so that we can save them in a specific file. Let's call this Native Related Lands. Save and OK. Great. Once it's done processing, you can see it in our layers list below. For our next step, let's move back into our web browser. We'll be using the Dirty Reprojectors library to change the data's projection from Mercator to Albers. If you don't already have this installed, you can run this command in your terminal. We're going to use this command to reproject our data. So I recommend copying, opening it in a new tab, and then let's run through what this command is doing. So it's calling on the Dirty Reprojectors to take in an input of native related lands, GeoJSON, and it's going to dirty reproject it into the Albers USA style and give us an output of native related lands.geojson and copy that. Once it's copied, you can move into the terminal. You want to be in the same folder as your data. You can paste the command and run it. Looks like we didn't receive any errors. So if we move into our finder, we'll see that we have a new geojson that was created right now. For the next step, we'll be using the library Tippecanoe. This helps create MB tiles of our data. MP tiles are more of a lightweight version of the data that we already have. If you don't already have Tippecanoe installed, you can run brew install Tippecanoe into your terminal to download it. We'll be using this command so that we can view our data at various zoom ranges. I recommend copying this, opening a new web browser, and then changing out what we need here. So what this command is saying is using the Tippecanoe library, we're going to modify the zoom level and we are going to get an output of native related lands by dropping the densest as needed in the GeoJSON called native related lands. So we'll copy this. We can paste in the command and press enter. Great. What just happened is that Tippecanoe converted the GeoJSON into vector tiles, which is a faster and more lightweight data set. Now if we hop over to Finder, we can see that we now have MB tiles. Finally, We'll start to move into Mapbox Studio to view and design our data. From this blog post, we can retrieve the Albers USA map style by clicking adding it to our account. Great! Once it's loaded into our account, we can click the Add New Layer button. We can go to Finder to find the data that we just created and drag and drop it into Mapbox Studio to upload. While the data is uploading and processing, we can move over to Counties and click Style. Right now we can see that the fill color is determined based off the county's ID. I want to make it so that the fill color of these counties and of the background is the same so that way we have a very consistent background. So let's copy this hex code, go back to counties, remove the current expression, and paste in the hex code. Great, now we have a blank canvas and we can check down in our notifications to see where our uploaded data is in the process. Once the data has successfully uploaded, we can click the Add New Layer button and search for it in our sources. Now we can see the data in X-ray mode where we can see all of the native related lands in the Albers projection. So let's switch to the Style tab. Right now it's currently just a lot of black polygons that are not very visible to read. So let's change the color and turn the opacity down. Personally, I like to duplicate the layer, change the type to Line, because we're changing the type, the styling will change, and that's okay. So now you can see all the native lands with a nice dark outline around them, which is helpful when looking at places that have a little bit more complicated areas. 
Let's rename these layers to make them a little bit more intelligible. So we'll call this Native Land Albers Outline. And let's take these two layers and drag them below the labels. So that way it's still clear to see where these areas are. Once you're satisfied with how the map looks, you can click Publish. And scrolling through this, you can see the change in what the map looks like with our new data added. And when you're ready, you can click the Share button to share the style or start using it in an app. Have fun!